Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have created one of the form and in the form area, I have created one of the route, right? I have created one of the route as a password update. So into the web route area, I have created one that is a cloud URL and that is our name as a password update. And then in our change password, I have created one of the method as a update password and that is also as a post method, right? So now I have created this, uh, um, our method as update password in our change password controller. So that is our change password controller and that is our method. So friend, as I told you a lot of the time, so when you use that post, then what exactly you have to do here, we have to add that as a request, right? So now make that sure you add it as a request. So request will be as a dollar request. So the request will be as a dollar request, right? And after that, first of all, I want to do, I want to add some of the validation. Okay, so if you want to add some of the validation, then what exactly you have to do? I hope you already remembered that part. So that will be as a validate, that means the validate data, validate and data, one of the variable, and then with this request, so with this request here, I want to do, I want to add that validate method. So that is our validate method, right? So make that sure you add it. So now I want to do, I want to add some of the validation. So here I want to add some of the validation. So I want to add some of the validation for our uh, field. So I have already put that name, name as an old password. So old password field, I want to make it as a required. So here that will be our old password with the single quote and here that will be our old password i want to do and to make it it will be as a required okay that will be as a required and also we have to do we have to match our um, password and the confirm password that means this new password and the confirm password should be the match so if you want to match it so that is our field name as a, i name it as a password and that is our confirm password so now i copy it so that will be our field name as a password and password should be as a required required and also I want to do I want to make it as a confirmed so that will be as a confirmed that means with this automatically it will be check our password and the confirm password is match or not okay so here I add some of the validation and after that I have to do I have to actually um, like for this user so that right now this user already logged in right so this user already have one of the password and this password is one of the hash password so I want to do I want to um, take one of the variable I take one of the variable as a hashed hashed password and hash password will be our authenticated user that means which user is already logged in right so this authenticated user so this authenticated user i want to do i want to get our field our field which field i want to get our database field as a this password so that is actually our password field i add it okay so after that what exactly you have to do so if this user already have uh, one of the password that means here if this user put that password we have to do we have to match it in our this password area so here i want to do i want to add one of the if condition okay i want to add one of the if condition and into the if condition it will be as a um, first of all first of all it will be check it uh, with one of the laravel default authentication that into the default authentication that have also one of the function as a hash so with this hash i want to do i want to check it so that is actually the default code you have to remember that part so that is our check and with this check i want to do i want to check it with our this requested user that means whatever the things actually pass from our this uh, uh, requested user from to this field so here we have to add it so here our request so that means with this request with this request i want to add our field name so that is our field so our field name i have already put that field name if you go to our change password our field name is this one as a old password right so it will be check it so that will be our old password and old password will be what old password will be our this authenticated user that means which user is already logged in this user password right so this user password i have already take the things with this variable so it will be match with our this one i hope friend it's very much clear to you that means um, whatever the things you will put from into the current password so it should be matched with our this authenticated user which is already logged in with this user this password field will be matched 
so when it will be match so here i check it without this hash check okay so with this hash check i simply check it and after this i want to do i want to add one of the take another, another variable as a user and with this user i want to use that our user model so here with this user model i want to do and to find i want to find our specific authenticated id that means which user id is uh, this one like this that is actually the user id i want to update right so that is the id so here we have to do we have to find out this auth id that means the authenticated user authenticated user id okay and after that i want to do i want to uh, create one of the new passwords so whatever the password right now i want to create from to particular this position also we have to do we have to create this password as a hash right so when it will be saved in our database it will be saved with the hash password so for the reasons here we have to do we have to make it as a hash that means with this user and with this user with this user whatever the things will be paste so that is our field as a password field okay so that is our password field that means i hope you understand that part that means this user whatever the things will be put in particular this password field area it's when it will be saved in our database it will be saved by this uh, password so for the reasons here our this password field data i want to do and to make it as a um, hash password so it will be as a hash okay hash and i want to do and to make this password i want to make this password as a hash password so our hash password will be what our hash password will be our this requested password right so this requested password means if uh, with this request with this request what are the data i will pass from our this change that is our requested field our field name as a password right so this password will be our requested password so this requested password i make it as a hash password and that is our user password area it will be saved so now i want to do i want to save this our user that means here i want to do i want to as uh, simply user so this user data i want to save it perfect so that's all you have to do okay and also when this data will be saved that means when i am i want to do when this user actually change their password automatically this session will be destroyed it will be returned redirect to our some of the specific page that means this user will be log out from here okay so here i want to do that work for the reasons here with the simple one of the code we have to use there is a auth that means the authenticated user which user is already logged in so this authenticated user will be log out i simply lo add our logout method as a logout so that is all the default one so automatically uh, when it will be saved this data this authenticated user will be log out okay friend and after that i want to do i want to return it that means it will be returned um one of the redirect redirect so it will be return redirect one of the route okay one of the route it will be return redirect one of the our logging route so I, that is actually default one i have already discussed about that things with you with some of the message sorry with um, with some of the um, success message so i have already created one of the success id success id so here it will be display as a password password is changed successfully so this type of one of the message it should be display okay friend so make that sure you add it and else uh, i want to do and to make it as else else it should be a uh, display another things okay or you simply display the return another page so whether i copy it it should be return redirect to the back page i make it as a back page and into the back page area here if you want to add another um, id you can add this id so right now it's okay with me that means here you have to add another class as a error okay you have to create another class as error and then you can actually put some of the message as a current current password is invalid okay so this type of one of the message it will be display okay so that will be our else option perfect so that's all you have to do so now if this user actually change this password it will be returned direct to our logging page with that message logging page for the logging i have already created on the page if you go hmm, that is our logging page so i will do that things later first of all i want to check it everything is perfectly working or not okay 
now click as a save all or rather than better i complete this portion at a time so i have already created one of the logging page i hope you already remember so that is in our um, in our pages so here that is our body and that is our auth you can see into the auth that is our logging blade so into the logging blade i have already added one of the our this uh, theme template into the template that is actually our logging page right so into the logging page here i want to do under visible some of the message our message will be actually um, i have already created like if you go you can see th they have some of the um, success message so that is a success message i want to visible okay if we, they have any section as an id as a success because of all from here i have already passed that as a success right so now i'm going to copy it and here i want to add it in our logging into the logging and that is our logging dashboard so here before that sign in before here i want to do to visible it on here okay so better i want to display it that means it will be written redirect to our logging page right so for the reasons into the logging page that is our success id i simply add this success id so now it should be visible if this actually successfully sign out and after that sign out automatically it will be that means after that save automatically this user will be log out and here friend one things i have already used some of the things i have used our um, uh, auth so we have to add that auth we have to add, use that our hash and also here i use that user model so now everything we have to do we have to use it on here so make that sure you use it so first of all i want to do i want to use our model that means that is our use sorry use our model that is in our app and then the models so that is our models folder and with the models folder there is a default one of the model as user right there is our app and there is a models folder into the models there is a default one as a user class so that means user model class so now i have to do i have to add it and also here i want to use as a use our auth so that will be as auth and then also we have to do we have to use that our um, I have used another one as a hash so also we have we have to use it hash that means here I want to do I want to use and that is in our illuminate okay so that is actually illuminate I want to use it after that illuminate and then here it will be as a support and then the facet facets and then the hash okay so make that sure you add all the things that is user model the auth and then illuminate support and the facets and the hash perfect so user auth and then hash yeah that's all so now that's all you have to do friend now let's check this out if you now click as a save all I click as a save all and now if you go here click as a refresh so right now first of all i want to do to check that validations here if you put your current password okay if you put the current password and here if you put that inappropriate user new password and the confirm password click as a save now you can see it's not showing as the password confirmation does not match that means it's appropriately getting our this uh, validation and also here if you make it as a empty that means if you make it as a empty click as a save now you can see it's now showing as a, the old password field is required that means it's perfectly getting our all that um, validation so here i have already added that validation that is the old password is the required and password field is required and confirm password should be as a required right so now it's perfectly getting all that our validation so right now i want to do i want to change it like right now if you click as a logout so right now for this user that is admin and here i have put that password as you do me one two three four five now click as a login now you can see right now i'm successfully logging so right now i want to do I want to change that password so my current password as a udemy one two three four fives now i want to do I want to change it as a udemy one two three and you do me one two three okay so now i want to change it so if everything okay after that it should be written redirect to our logging page right so here i have already did that work that means if this save this data this authenticated user will be log out and automatically it will be written redirect to our uh, logging page so now let's check this out if everything okay it should be work so now i want to do and to click as a save yes you can see friend 
now it's showing as a password is changed successfully so that is the message i have already added that means it should be returned redirect to a locking page with some of the success message and the password is changed successfully so for the reasons you know locking template so that is a locking template right so to the locking template i have already added that our message that message alert so now you can see our message alert is visible so now I want to do, I want to log in my old password as a udemy12345. Now let's check this out, it's uh, perfectly updated or not, click as a sign in. Yes, you can see you cannot sign in with our old password. So right now I have updated as a udemy123. Now I want to do, I want to log in with this udemy123. So again, udemy123, I want to log in yes you can see that means our password is now successfully updated okay so right now we can actually uh, use it so our password is now successfully updated friends so here we successfully complete our this uh, password option right so from here right now you can actually change that password and you can actually create your new password so friend here we successfully complete this part and in i hope friend is well understand about it so the, what, what exactly the things i did on particular that area so that's the code you have to do okay so that is the all you have to know so just uh, practice it so in the next video i'm going to discuss about that profile so for this profile this user already have one of the username one of the email address so if you want to change that email address if you want to change that user um, name how can change it in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video